sindikatos. Hey mukbangers, welcome back. It's my sixth show, and today I'm at the pool. I'm going to eat with you today. <laughs> A vegan grill pineapple teriyaki dish. It's gonna be really yummy. So, um, I'll show some clips for you guys, but I'll also try to show it to you this way, so. Check that out. We cooked some rice and some pineapple. Well, we cooked the rice ahead of time and then try to infuse the flavors. And then skewers. We've got peppers, mushrooms, pineapple, onion, red and yellow peppers. So anyway, I would love it if you would step outside of your place. I'm sure you're watching me on your phone. And if not, move it to the phone if you can. Um, join me outside, get some vitamin D, it's really important for you. And also, if you're in the United States, happy Labor Day, y'all. That is tofu marinated in teriyaki. For those of you who don't know what Labor Day is about, it has something to do with when the union was created, um, they, the workers wanted days off, and uh, the owners of the businesses didn't want to do that, and so they took it to the streets you know, to change the law. And um, so then with the strikes and the protests, they decided to put Labor Day in. And, you know, so unfortunately, a few, quite a few people in the United States still don't get the day off, but. There's still a little win, yeah. Vitamin D is so important right now. And they're just starting to like 
do more studies <clears throat> that prove how important vitamin D is for you, especially in the time of COVID. I love eating outside. It makes me feel grounded as a person. I recommend it for everybody to be able to get outside. You know, whether it's eating or swimming. I mean, I'm at the pool today. And I thought I'd introduce you to my pool. <laughs> Lily and Lala are currently in the pool while I do the mukbang. They're welcome to join me whenever they want. So here's some, like, this fun fact about vitamin D, right? It's not a vitamin. It's actually a pro-hormone. So your body can make it, but only after it gets some sun. So it has to, it absorbs, um, it, it makes D, but it makes it based off of how much sun exposure you get. So if you don't get a lot of sun exposure, then you don't make as much vitamin D. I believe that that, that D is like essential right now for to help fight you to help fight off COVID. <laughs> Vitamin D, it also helps with um, healthy bones and teeth. It supports your immune system, uh, your brain and nervous system. It regulates insulin, insulin too. So, I mean, so, so much more. You can look it up on nutritionfacts.org. I love you guys when you watch. Like, I'm so happy that you're here today. And if this is your first time, subscribe, because I would love it if you and I could have lunch again. Lily's in the pool, like I said, and you know, every once in a while I can see her head pop up, and it's just, She's very eye-catching. I love this kid. It's completely brilliant. Depending on where you 
are when you're watching this now. You could be anywhere in the world. And hello. Yes, baby, I do. <laughs> Nice, we need to get a shot of that. Oh, you okay? So, depending on where you are in the world, you might have certain um, certain amounts of sun per day or whatever, you know? So, if you are closer to the equator, you'll have larger amounts of sun. If you're further from the equator, you'll have less sun, okay? But also, the color of the skin matters in order to absorb the D hormone. Um, if you are lighter skinned, you need around 15 minutes per day, and it gradually raises to the darker skin you are. And then you would need around up to around two hours per day. And um, you know, I I love being out in the sun. Um, once I became vegan, I mean, I don't burn nearly like I did. So, you know, I just, um, if you're lighter skinned like I am, then and if you're vegan, don't worry. Spend as much time in the sun as you would like. But for the special um, support that you would get from the sun, like I was saying earlier with the immune health bones, you know, nervous system, such and such. Um, take it this way. The longer you spend in the sun, the more your body will benefit. Okay? If you have a lot of oils in your diet, you might burn a little easier. That's not always the same. That's not always the case. But, um, it, it, it has happened, you know. your lunch or your dinner or your breakfast drop it in the comments what are you eating I get so happy out in the sun. I don't know about anyone else, but I mean, studies show you decrease your depression levels by being out in the sun. But man, when I step outside, I just get so happy. But you know, the rate of absorption too, like, <clears throat> I was talking about the 15 to two hour timeline of being outside per day. And you might think that's a lot, but I mean, 30 minute increments, that's not that much, right? But other things factor into your absorbency. You know, you want full absorbency as much as possible. What that means is, um, like if you have sunscreen, that's going to diminish the amount of sun you're actually able I think almost by like 85%, if I'm wrong, I'll, I'll put it somewhere like right here, but um, it takes away your absorbency ability. And then, you know, the darker the skin, the harder it is for you to absorb the D hormone from the sun. And uh, let's see, if you live in northern climates, that also is a tougher factor because you get less sun, So, or the sun isn't as strong. You know, so you really have to make sure that you're getting proper sun exposure, whatever that means for you, wherever you are, whatever your skin color and, and all that, you know.
So, <clears throat> I was talking about like earlier COVID and vitamin D. I wanted to elaborate a little bit. So, a JAMA study was published yesterday. Um, and like anytime this, these scientists you know, publish something, it's like big news, gotta pay attention to it. I mean, it's, it's a big deal when they agree to anything. So it showed that people with vitamin D deficiencies were 1.77 times more likely to test positive for COVID. I mean, <clears throat> I don't care what percentage it is. I am doing everything 100% right now to, to, not, to not get sick. I have a kid. I know a lot of you guys have kids. So we're all trying to be as, as healthy as we possibly can to stay around. Um, but it could also partially explain higher COVID rates in like black people or any, any person of color. Because we do find that with studies that people of color are in fact testing with, high, with a higher COVID rate, right? And so I would say everybody needs to get their D. So I hope you chose to eat with me outside in the sun. For the video, I'm sitting under some shade, but I've been out with Lily and I'll be dipping in the pool in a little bit. This is my tofu piece, this is my last piece, it's like, it's so good. So like when you're doing tofu, the way we get it, um, I think as meaty as possible, <coughs> we freeze it, and then we thaw it, and then this version we marinate it. We didn't have to do it, I mean it's very absorbent, so you know, you, you don't have to do it for all night like you do other things. And then I uh, popped it on the grill. So that's why it's it's just it's so juicy. I'm so excited to get in the water. It is hot outside today. So like I'm thinking I need to get a get a dip in like in a minute. Do you wait 30 minutes before you get in the pool? <laughs> I don't. I'll get right in. Like yeah. Yeah, any minute now. And for my viewers, you know. I don't ever throw out any food that you don't see me consume. I end up consuming that. Put it in a box and I'll, and I'll just eat from it in my next meal. Um, Lily will eat from it. You know, we, we do as little waste as possible. We try our best to be good to the, to the world, you know, the environment. That's important. Well guys, I'll say this. I'm gonna go hop in the pool. I'm gonna I'm gonna go put a put a little towel over this, keep the flies off. But thank you for joining me and I hope to see you again. Say hi in the comments below. Subscribe if you haven't already. 
and peace and love, guys. Ready? Same time? Together?